Hey guys, good morning. Big Bear coming at you from Davidson, North Carolina, right by the college. Let's talk about your authentic self. The trick is to align your thoughts with becoming your authentic self and allowing that to be your prize, your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. With practice, it is indeed possible to determine through discernment all that belongs in your life and all that does not. And in pursuing that goal of the true self, the authentic self, one learns to identify these things, man, that don't belong. It's like the diamond cutter. He knows where the facets belong. He knows the angles. He knows what's not going to allow that diamond to shine with the fire that it can. He removes everything that dampens its potential. With me, guys. Study your worst self to get to your better self. Hello? And so, one at a time, it is necessary to let go of all things that do not or no longer serve you. Because we carry things. Something served us in the past. That's great. Have gratitude and appreciation for them. Let them go. It takes zero effort physically <laughs> to let go of something, right? How about mentally? Why do we hold on to things as if they are... Hmm. All right. So, work with me here. Where do we go? One at a time is necessary to let go of all things that do not or no longer serve you. This is a path to the authentic self. As you walk the path, you will see patterns. There's going to be clues. The path will speak to you. Just like driving down the highway, now they got the rumble strips, right? But they're on the sides, so the cops can tell when you can't... St I mean, <coughs> you can tell... Hey. Hearken unto me. Write this down. The more readily accept the truth. I glossed over that. The more readily you accept the truth about things that no longer belong in your life, the easier it becomes to release them. It takes no strength to let go, merely wisdom. Hello. It does, however, take strength to hold on to things that don't belong in your life. It takes energy. When will it be the time to release them? How will you release them? How will you feel when you release them? Right, my friends? Releasing the things that do not belong helps you to make room for the things that do belong in your life. This is part of the concept of creating a vacuum. By letting go of old things, by releasing them, you make room for more abundance to enter your life. You may have heard something called the old law of attraction. I love you. Love yourself. Get out there. To that person that can be who you want to be. I love you. Go love someone else. Hugs.